Okay, good, good day. So we will be going to discuss design of shafts. So shafting are cylindrical cylindrical machine used to transmit rotary motion and power from a driver which is the the thing that drives huh? the driver to a driven element element Okay, so that is sharp thing. So, sharp thing is a, is a mechanism wherein there is a, a machine and there is a, a cylindrical device attached to the machine that is used to transmit rotary motion or power. So, from the driver, which is the machine to a driven element, it could be another machine or it could be a machine element. In shafts, is a cylindrical cylindrical piece of metal used to carry ro rotating machine parts rotating machine parts So, it is a device or a, a, a piece of metal, cylindrical in shape, where you will insert other machines such as bearings, couplings, sprockets, so pulleys, such as pulleys. For example, if this is your pulley, Then the thing that is attached to the pulley is a shaft. It's a cylindrical device. Huh? So this is a shaft. Pulley. Tauro na siya na itao rin na, no? Okay, this is your pulley. Pulleys, gears, wheels and other elements rotating with it or rotating on it okay so that is a shop basically it's a shop Okay, cylindrical device. The axle is a stationary member of primarily loaded in bending with gears okay pulleys and other elements so basically it is a shop that is attached to a wheel okay or there could be also a pulley so, my material is huh? 
ibig sabihin, so this is an axor, no? Okay. It's also a kind of shaft, no? Then we have two general classes classes of shops. So there are two general classes of shops, no? So first is the transmission shop. Transmission. So transmission shop is shop that transmits power. Power. Okay. Then number two is machine shop. Machine shop is a shop that is part of the mechanism. That is part of the mechanism of a something or a machine, no? Like, for example, there is a conveyor, no? So, therefore, na yung mga rollers. So, na yung mga shafts na in between rollers. So, those are integral part of the machine. Therefore, they are machine shafts. Uh, part of the machine. Okay. So now, types of transmission shaft. So we go to transmission shaft. So by the way, kanong drive shaft sa sakyanan is also a type of, so also a type of transmission shaft. Okay. So types of transmission shafts could be divided into, could be divided into three. Hmm? So basically, the formulas are based upon this. First is the main shop. Main shop. Second is the line shop. Third is the short shop. Okay. So we are we are trying to illustrate if this is your machine, the driver. Driver, so this is the driver. So the first shop attached to the machine is the main shop. So assuming we are attaching a pulley to a machine, where is she? Okay, to long it close, huh? So there is a band belt that's a pulley. So the belt drives another pulley. Up another shop. So this shop, if this is the main shop. This is the line shop. Or, ang main shop muna ata sa driver. So, the thing that comes next to it is the line shop. Okay? And this line shop is also driving another pulley. Sorry. And this is the driven driven so therefore this shop here is known to be as a short shop or sometimes known as a counter shop okay so those are the different types of transmission shops Okay, so the power transmitted in this shop is equal to 2 pi T N. Of course, in SI, so 
the power is in kilowatts. If the power is in kilowatts, then the torque is in kilonewton meter, where the N is in revolution per second. You know that the purpose of this 2 pi here is to convert revolution to radians because only radians could be inputted directly into an equation. So therefore, you have that 2 pi radians per 1 revolution times revolution per second. It will yield you radian per second. So radian is actually just a representative unit but is actually a unitless number. Because it is a ratio of saman, distance to a distance, like circumference to a diameter, no? Pi D. C is pi D. Diameter to a circumference or cir circumference to a diameter, no? So, it's supposedly a unitless number. So that is why we will yield a kilonewton meter per second so be because this will become a radian, so it will give you kilowatts. So the torque is force times radius. So if this is your this is your uh, front view of a shop, then if this is a force acting at this direction, this, this is the radius of the shaft, then it has an equivalent torque. So it goes to F times R. Okay, so that will cause the twisting of this body. So if you will see this in a three-dimensional format, so a perspective view, so your shaft, you apply a force, it torque. No, so it actually simply could be breaking down into a force acted on a certain radius. So kinesian force acting at a certain radius could also be represented by a torque, simply anara. No. It's actually the same effect. So it will create twisting. No? Twisting. Mulubag, no? So natay maporma angle, no? Angle of twist, no? So you know that the angle of twist is simply TL over JG, no? So where, for, for solid shop, J is what? J is pi D4 over 32, or the polar moment of inertia for hollow shaft j is what pi d o4 minus d i4 over 32 okay okay so mona siya purpose ng angle deformation ni globag na to ni globag mo so ang yung original shape yung unaan na unta but due to the twisting stress due to the torsion lubog siya na may angle ng pulma okay so since lubog man siya twisting it will create a shearing stress that will tends to kung like for example ka ng alambre yung i-twist to pumayo you will apply a lot of torque until such time they will shear they will cut no? cut siya so Therefore, the shearing stress of a the shearing stress of a shaft and that there is a torque applied on it for solid shaft again is 16 T over pi d cube. So derived na sa una, no? From T C over J. From T C over J, no? So you mem remember that C is D over 2 because C is simply the radius. That is C. So therefore d over 2. So the the pi d pi d power over 32 mo cancel ang d nya ang 32 nga mahimong 16 no. Kay na may to dire 32 divided by 2 16. So diha na siya no. So for solid siya. Okay. So for halo 16 t d o over pi the same manner of the right you have D of 4 minus oh, sorry na bali D of 4 minus D I 4 okay for hollow for hollow shaft okay 
Then we also have that, for example, uh, 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 an axle. Like for example, muna yung bisikleta, muna yung tinidor sa yung bisikleta. So if this is your axle, an axle is also a shaft. There is the wheel. Then, this axle will be subjected to bending. Can you exert many force? So, the force will tend to bend the shaft. No? So, the bending stress could be computed using stress bending the formula 32m over pi d cube no per solid per solid shaft for halo 32m do over phi pi do4 minus di4 okay where m is the bending moment so bending moment it is the force times length no so then there is a combine. We could combine the, the torsion and bending and go back going back to your combined stresses for which we have shown examples. Huh? Combined torsion and bending. So for example, na ay nagtuyok ng ligid, no? Nya, na sa nag bend sa axle. Then, what if katong ligid, di ligid, but probably a gear, no? A gear that is support or a sprocket that is so that is more like any door mechanism that applies force between each side and then will tend the shaft to bang, bang, to bend while it is being rotated, no? Then uh, over torque and motor, then the shaft experiences both bending and torsion. So, again, the shearing stress maximum which is the shearing stress maximum induced because of the application of torque okay so that is 16 over pi d cube square root of m squared plus t squared okay we have the, the tensile stress no is T max which is the uh, due to probably mostly due to the bending no? 16 over pi d cube times m plus square root of m squared plus t squared okay so now that we have general formulas ni siya sa shops makita ninyo sa strength of materials but Ang mga engineers o scientists, ilan yung i-experimentohan. So, they conducted experiments and then they combine units, they combine different units and nakadecide sila nga best based sa actual occurrence. Mauni siya nga formula. Ayaw na lang pungutan eh. Yung saan siya pag-derive, basta kay mga unit, di lima bangga. May muna mga engineer, mga unit, ano, di lima bangga, basta kay... Kung mo ni siya formula, gamito ninyo yung laing unit, magawas mo na siyang result. Say, for example, the power, no? For main transmission shafts. Mo na siya gitawag og empirical formulas. So, empirical formulas, oh, is there, are formulas that are derived from uh, simplifying different equations, no? Especially for those from mathematical modeling or by experimentation. Then creating a formula that you just plug in some units, no? Uh, quantities of different units, but it is uh, hard to to dissect, no? For dimensional analysis because the dimensions, the units doesn't make any sense, but it has a certain result. So for main power transmitting shaft, So, this is written in the PSME code. Page 18. Okay. So, we have that the power of the main transmitting shaft P. Wala internet to sa babosa? Went. Oh. 
Si D cube N over A T. So where the diameter ani is in inches, the N is in RPM. So always remember this. You cannot apply dimensional analysis because the units will not cancel out. So and the power is in horsepower. Okay. So always remember that unit. So that is for main power transmitting shaft. B is for line shafts. Line shafts. So for line shaft, we have that the power is D cube N over 53.5. So again, that is an empirical formula. Okay. So the unit is still horsepower and following this pattern, no? So the diameter should be in inches, the N should be in RPM, then over these values, then you will get it, the unit to be in horsepower. Okay. So this is C for short shops, for short or counter shops. Okay. For counter shops, we have that the power is d cube n over 38. Again, the diameter is in inches. N is in RPM, and of course, the power is horsepower. Doesn't make any sense, but just plug in it to the code. That is their formula. Okay. So, now, there are other empirical formulas that you need to familiarize because, or as much as possible memorize, because these formulas are important, especially in the board exam. So, going back, we know that the deflection, the angle of twist, because of twisting, could be found by this formula, JG. but in the PECME code, there is a shorter method. No? So, as much as possible, you need to memorize this method. So, for angle of twist, angle of twist, not exceeding. Kiban ini ninyo. Kay kung kung dili ninyo, for example, dili ninyo, like for example, mag-solve ka sa diameter. So na kay diameter dere sa J nimo, sa imong polar moment of inertia. Tagang kag torque, tagang kag delay, tagang kag modulo sa velocity ni ang angle i convert ninyo into radians. Shift solve ninyo mo paong ang inyong calculator. Matog. Tungod sa kataas sa iyang solbon. So these formulas are shortcuts. In finding, for example, the diameter sa kato nakaproduce sa tung angle of twist. Like for example, kini no not exceeding zero point zero eight degrees per length. So theta per l is equal to t over j g. For example, you will find the diameter of this. Na dere ang diameter. Given siya tanan. Given siya tanan. Problem ang kaya ng shift solve mo, matuog mali mong calculator. Niya, inig-inig kong solve mo, saan yung maglong method, kaya taas, kaya stanan. So, these formulas that I'm going to show you will give you an easier way, no? So, if not exceeding 0.08 degrees per length, so you got that the diameter for this is 0.29 times per throat of torque, no? Then the units are the diameter is in inches. So, no other choice. Memorize. No? That is my recommendation. So, torque is in inch pounds. Then, the of course, the N is in RPM. If we have an N. So, or you could use that the D is 4.6 times per throat of torque. Oh, horsepower over RPM. Okay. So, this is for not exceeding 0 0.08 degrees per length. So, it will give you an easier option. No? If you will just memorize this, then you will, you will, bukagunin ni mo siya niya, imo manuhog so. Pero pwede, pwede because I've tried it because when I took the board exam, I didn't know about these formulas. 
So I have, I am going for this in the board exam and I have no choice because I did not memorize this. If I had if I had given that time that I had memorized this then I should have not dealt with those with that long process but it still solved the same answer on that the time took took more no instead of just using these formulas. Okay? We have We have also in in SI no B oh no no in S in SI sata in SI atong okay in SI gapon sa twist no so allowable twist zero point twenty six degrees per length no so the in SI you have that the formula B two point two six times fourth root of t, no? So again, my, my, my advice for you is to memorize because it will make your life easier, no? 1 to 5.7 times fourth root of horsepower, oh, no, power, uh, power over n, okay? So where d is in mm, where torque is in newton, mm where power is in kilowatts where and n is in rpm so memorize again para dili mo mo undergo ano nga tedious process this is very very tedious process to solve the diameter okay we have and again another shortcut no for allowable twist not exceeding one degrees per 20 diameter equivalent of length 20 times diameter equivalent of length then we have that diameter b 0 0.1 times cube root of torque or 4.0 times fourth root of horsepower over n. Memorize, not a choice. Okay, the diameter is in inches, torque is in inch pound, and of course, power is in horsepower. Horsepower, okay. Then n is in RPM. So, that is for not exceeding one degree per 20 times diameter equivalent of length. Now see, you have another from the code, PCME code. So this again, these are called empirical formulas. But you need to remember for shop design. Because, kini siya mga stresses mani. Stresses that are experienced by the shop, no? Okay. But, in order to calculate for the power, diameter, and torque, so, nana na siya yung mga naka-standard ng mga formula sa machine design. Pag iunsa ni siya pag-derive is through experimentation and through mathematical modeling then crunching the formula into a simple formula that sometimes the unit did not make any sense and there's no other way but to memorize it or have a book with your side. no? But in the board exam, you cannot bring a book with your side so you only have one option but to memorize these formulas. The same as what we did before, no? For short, solid shop. Subjected. Only to heavy transverse. So for, for shops, you know, Subjected only to heavy transverse, the formula would be D is square root of 1.7 times B over SS. Where, where P is the maximum transverse shearing. In 
pound force. Where S is, is the maximum torque, torsional stress. Maximum torsional shearing stress in pounds per inch square or PSI. Okay, so remember that for transverse, no? Okay, so for linear deflection, so now we go with linear deflection. So if you have a, I have already given you the book of Jastor Dilio. Na ani siya dito sa kan Jastor Dilio. So I don't really need to write it. You just need to read it there. But I'm just simply discussing it based on what my experience and my memories, my analysis of this. But basically, machine design is memorizing of formulas, empirical formulas. There are so many empirical formulas, shortcut formulas, no? Because supposedly, ang tinood na is a differential equations. Taghan kayo nga differential equations. But they made it simpler by making a formula that kung imong iplat o katong empirical form o katong sa differential equation yun, iplat ni mo ilang graph parehas. The same behavior. Therefore, this empirical formula is much simpler than this differential equation of stresses. So, therefore, we stick with this and put it in the code. Then that is for the students Nga, well, nga under board pa meaning like you not yet pass the board exam students like you need to memorize because when you become a, a designer like for example you are in the field of machine design then you need to have a machine design handbook where all the codes are inside no you don't need to memorize just need to familiarize where it is found but since there is a board exam that do not allow you to do that then there is no option for you but to memorize and to solve as many problems as you can so that you could build up a memory because they again the problem in machine design is just circulating around no 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 examiner has the enough courage to create his own problem because that is based upon actual scenarios kind of problems can exist bisan kind of mga reviewer hire na sila so basically, it is a great advantage if you have solved machine design problems as many as you can because some way, somehow in the board exam, you will encounter it word for word. And of course, it's one free point. It's a sh it makes your time shorter no? and gives that allows you to have more time on solving problems that are harder, no? which you have no experience but could be solved. So that's how important uh, memorizing the formulas in machine design is, no? And build up an experience of solving a lot of problems so that when you encounter the problem, although so that is the technique in machine design. Derive, derive, din na Because machine designs are, are surrounded with empirical formulas and those formulas cannot be derived but what could only be memorized okay or still so naani sa kang tordilyo katong red nga naasa google classroom na to it considered good practice so this is in the machine design field so basically ang mechanical engineering field na tunga og duha so when you are a mechanical engineer there is two basic fields na mas separate ni mechanical engineering the field of machine design which is kung asa ang linya sa stre stress of uh, sa mga 3D modelers mga stress simulator stress analysis machine design uh, kanang graphic solutions sa mga kinematics of elements no when when one body moves what happen to the other members link no link members so that is 
and then the machine design side. So the other one is the thermofluid system design that includes your air conditioning, your pipe sprinkler system, your pump piping systems, your compressors, your tanks, your 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 power plant, your thermodynamics, your your uh, fluid machineries. That is on the other side. So Duhan is So basically, we are now on the machine design, but ganina ang refrigeration nato sa other side. So Duhan is lang ka side. So again, let's go back. Practice to to twist. Uh, to limit the linear deflection to a maximum of 0 0.010 inches per feet of length. Okay. Okay, so dapat dahi kuno sa linear deflection it is good practice you know, to limit the linear deflection to a maximum of 0 0.10 inches per length. So, para sa mga future machine designers, sumuni siya inyo hang timanan. So, we have that the maximum distance, so these are the, impermula, the empirical formula. A So, timan isa ni siya, kaya nagawas isa ni sa board exam na ako, nga nagmahay sa doon kami mura isa ni. So, basically, na yung mga play points, bulahan ng mga anak ng mura isa. So, no bending action. Exit. It's own weight. So, L is 8.95 cube root of D squared. So, where D is in inches. And, of course, length is in feet. Okay. Subjected to bending action except in its own weight. So, for example, an axle, no? Bending action except its own weight. So, the length in feet, this is the maximum distance between bearings. Maximum distance between bearings. So, for example, this is your axle. So, nanishay do ka bearings diha. So, the maximum distance between bearings. Maximum distance between bearings. Between bearings. bearings okay so if this is the bearings this is your wheel nani siya bearings so it will produce a bending action so dapat sa gitu rule muna siya rule limit the linear deflection to 0 0.10 inches per feet of length therefore to solve to solve the length given a diameter of that situation you will use that empirical formula so, the last empirical formula for shafting subjected to bending action of pulley. Okay, so if this is your shaft, there is a pulley attached to a shaft. So, Okay. Maybe there is another shop. Oh, there's another pulley here. Of course. So there is also driving another pulley. And there is also another pulley here. So the belt. So the bending. So this produces a bending. Bending. Then the maximum kuno. In the formula you will use to find the maximum length in separation, L max niya. Ano maximum L max is 5.2 cube root of D squared. So you don't need to analyze 
forces sa iyang maximum deflection para makuha ni Nemo kini siya device na na si Ana experiment nila niya so kung na ako no kay shifting subjected to bending action except its own weight like for example kini manobila no manobila so tinidor sa motor no na so mo produce man siya bending sa shaft so para ma- makuha ni mo ang maximum separation ani niyan duha kana sila L max in feet L max in feet so para makuha ni mo maximum separation para mo pasar siya ani is you need to follow this formula so square root of d squared so then kung pulley ko no ang hinungdan na i pulley pulleys niya na i belt na i belt so belt ni then another pulley na sa another shop so ang kung para makuha ko no ni mo ang bending action mak, ma, ang maximum separation between pulleys between pulleys is mugamit ka ani nga formula ng pasar na si ani ani nga standard okay so sunod na ni mo so again the length is in feet and the diameter is in inches so that is all about design of shafts in blue including the including the power transmission the stresses subjected to a shaft uh torsion during stress then the different empirical formulas used for the shaft like for the power transmission of different types of shafts for main shafts for line shafts and for short and counter shafts then for deflection how to shortcut finding the diameter if there is an allowable twist no so instead of undergoing this long tedious equation you just need this formulas so uh, this is also one of my frustrations at pag take na ko sa board although i got 84 out of 100 sa machine design but sa- sana mo taas taas kung kung wala kung nakaibaw ko ani atong time so i'm sharing this to you so that dili mo maagi ani kay pagkataas ay gud to kay kay ni human nya kas kay uras remember this 100 problems nya pila ray pila ra ka minute ang dapat igahin mo sa usa ka problem then pag sobra ang ani kuk do ni mo nya kung isip solve mo matug man dugay mo kinsa na maka compute so i wish i have known this so mas mayo karon ya share ta mo sa una siya empirical pa mas tanu timan ini ni nyo na exceeding at least finished na exceeding allowable twist asya and also the unit man ini nyo kay mga gusto ni sa board exam Ini siya, transverse, diman i, transverse. Transverse, diman i, sa na, is, is ni. Then, deflection. So, kung deflection ka, due to, gatat siya ng axle, ligid, or ang pulley, nagitauran sa shop, ang maximum separation, ana, in feet, is, kani. Na. Oh, kung, gitaurag pulley, kana. So that's all about shop design. Thank you very much. And next meeting, I will send examples of calculations, no? sample problems on design of shops. Thank you very much.